So I, I hope you can all read that. Uh, the title of this talk is uh, Common Lisp Go Brood. And this was a, a community request that, that I name it that way. Uh, it's, it's essentially the, the demo I, I uh, promised yesterday. And I want to, I want to do some, some audience uh, coding. So, so uh, this is the, the code from the example I showed listed yesterday where you take the weighted average of the four neighbors in a two-dimensional array. And so what are we going, what we are going to talk about is um, so, so is, uh, 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 what would you do to optimize this function, or is it already perfect common Lisp? So, so maybe SPCL, in its wisdom, can just look at this and say, okay, uh, it's declared to be a two-dimensional array. Uh, it's declared to be working on all double precision floating point numbers, so maybe the compiler can just do its job, and that will be blazingly fast. So, so do you think this is the, the best way, or would you add a declaration or rewrite it some way? Any opinions on that? Yeah. Uh, Okay, so, so I hear uh, here a do, do times instead of loop, um, but you can't do that because you have to start from one. Uh, you, you could do arithmetic. Any other suggestions maybe? Yes. Okay, locality optimization. That would, would make the code much, much more convoluted and distract from the original thing, but that's something we could do. Uh, yeah, yes, Max? Oh, okay, so so uh, set shapes, but that would then again make it much more complicated. Maybe SPCL is smart enough to do that itself, right? Uh, so so uh, this is what I wanted to show. Uh, now, um, can someone, can you hold the mic, please? So I, I wrote a tiny benchmark suite that's, that's really, really uh, the, the simplest you can do. Oh, oh, I have another request. Okay, yeah, so, so the suggestion is to turn off bounce checking. I, I, I can do that too, or just declare safety zero, right, because we don't have bugs. Um, okay, um, so I will just, I will just run that, the Jacobi that you, uh, the benchmark seat, uh, suite determines um, how many, how many flops, floating point operations, Jacobi A, so I will just run that. And it will it will execute the code um, 10 million times uh, on a, on a very small domain that fits into the level one cache, so that we are not limited by memory, and and then we get reasonable performance numbers. So so is the hope. So the question is how fast is Common Lisp at the moment? And and now it prints. So we have around 840 megaflops, which is roughly the performance that you get with JavaScript code these days for number crunching, which is not great. And now comes the example. I have another Jacobi function for you, and this is Jacobi B, which is the, the very same code, except that it doesn't use loop, it doesn't use do times, it uses the lupus thing that I developed. And I would just control C, control C that, and sorry, did you? Yeah, you, 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 you uh, try to recall how long it took to run the, one, uh, the first function. The Jacobi benchmark is still the same, still uh, 10 million iterations. And we run that now. And um, so you, did, you, did you feel the, the factor of 20 speed up? Um, so, so this is actually um, 16 gigaflops single core performance from, from pure common Lisp. And, and you see the, the code is, there is no set shape, locality, whatever. It's, it's, it's not convoluted. It's really I just, all I did is replace loop with with a bit of magic, and yeah, I, I really need a yeah, yeah, okay, and and <laughs> thanks, Didier, and uh, what I what I really liked for people that like to read assembler code. So this is what I'm really proud of. So so what actually happens under the hood is you have those two beautiful blocks of, of instructions starting with a V, which is, which is an AVX2 instruction, one block for, with a step size of four with packed operations and then handling the remainder. So it's really almost as good as what, what uh, GCC would do. And I, I do the final thing. I don't need the mic for that. So I call one more function and then the talk is already over. The demonstration succeeded, which is... Thank you, Didier. Okay, so what you see now is uh, a common lisp go brrrt, and uh, so between each printing of the word, uh, it executes 10 million sweeps over the level one cache size domain. 
So, so I, I think that's incredibly cool. So when I started Lyft program, uh, programming and did some number crunching, you always were used to waiting a little bit or the response time were, were not, not perfect and now it's just, yeah. So I'm very happy, maybe you are happy too. Thanks. I think that's the perfect way to end ELS this year. <laughs>